Have you ever wondered about the history and secrets of the most sacred place for Muslims, the Kaaba? This ancient, revered site, often called the House of Allah, draws millions of Muslims from across the globe to Masjid al-Haram every year. They come to pray, to worship, and to feel a connection with their faith that is as deep as it is timeless. The Kaaba story is one of endurance and transformation. It has been reconstructed several times, including a significant rebuild during the era of Prophet Muhammad. The most recent large-scale construction was in 1996, strengthening its foundations and ensuring its continued existence. But it's not just the physical structure that matters. The Kaaba is a beacon of unity and faith for Muslims everywhere. It's a place where everyone comes together in shared belief and purpose. The Kaaba isn't just a structure, it's a symbol of unity and faith that transcends time and space. The Kaaba as we see it today wasn't always like this. Its construction and transformation is a fascinating journey through time. The initial structure was built by prophets Ibrahim and Ismail embodying a simple, modest design. However, the Kaaba didn't remain the same. During Prophet Muhammad's era, it went through significant changes, reflecting the evolving needs and realities of the Muslim community. The Kaaba's transformation didn't stop there. The last major construction took place in 1996. This renovation replaced many of the stones and fortified the foundation, ensuring its strength to withstand the test of time. Each stage of its construction carries a story, a testament to the enduring faith and devotion of the Muslim community. Despite the changes it has undergone, the Kaaba remains a constant, a beacon of unity and faith for Muslims around the world. The Kaaba has stood the test of time undergoing transformations yet remaining the beating heart of Islam. Did you know that the Kaaba held secrets within its walls? For instance, the Kaaba originally had two doors, one for entering and another for exiting. It even boasted a window on one side. Now there remains only one door, visible when storms sweep across the sacred site. The Kaaba also holds a unique key, a symbol of trust and responsibility. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, bestowed the keys of the Kaaba to the Bani Sahiba family, specifically to a man named Osman ibn Talha. This key, passed down through generations, remains a significant emblem of the sacred trust given to them. And then, we have the Black Stone, a cornerstone of the Kaaba, which carries a fascinating history. Some believe it was damaged by a stone fired during a siege on Makkah by the Umayyad army. But most agree that the Black Stone was severely damaged in the year 930 by the Karmatians, a group that attempted to divert the Hajj pilgrimage to their own lands. The stone was eventually returned to Makkah, albeit broken into seven pieces. To protect and preserve it, the pieces were encased in a silver frame where they remain today. Finally, let's talk about the shape of the Kaaba. Contrary to popular belief, it's not supposed to be a perfect cube. The original dimensions of the Kaaba included the semicircular area known as the Hijr Ismail. When the Kaaba was rebuilt just a few years before the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, received his first revelation, there was insufficient pure income to rebuild it to its original size. So, a smaller version was built and a modest wall was constructed around the remaining area to indicate its original dimensions. Every corner of the Kaaba has a story to tell, every stone a witness to centuries of devotion. The Kaaba, in all its simplicity and grandeur, holds within it the echoes of history, the whispers of millions of prayers, and the secrets of a faith that has stood unwavering for centuries. What makes the Kaaba unique as a place of worship? Well. Let's dive into that. The Kaaba is a distinct place of worship in many ways. One of the most remarkable aspects is that once you step inside, you can pray in any direction. Yes, that's right. Unlike the usual practice of facing the Kaaba during prayers, within its walls, every direction is equally sacred. Now who gets this special privilege of praying inside? Well, it's an exclusive list. The Kaaba is no longer open to everyone. Today, only Saudi kings, prime ministers, and presidents of the world are allowed to enter this sacred space. This privilege signifies the high esteem and respect accorded to these positions. The Kaaba stands as a testament to the unity of the Muslim Ummah, a place where all directions meet and all hearts unite. It's a symbol that resonates with the concept of oneness and unity, making it truly unique.
The Kaaba is more than just a building. It is a symbol of faith and unity. Through transformations and secrets, to its unique attributes, it stands as a testament to our shared heritage. As we look at the Kaaba, we're reminded of our shared heritage and the universal message of Islam, that there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger.